Now, the, the longer I'm a musician and the longer I play certain composers, the more I love them. And Charles Ives is really in that category. Uh, when I was uh, a student, I had the good fortune to play his three places in New England, which was a re revelation at that point. And many years later, when I was in the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra, we used to play the third symphony of Charles Ives, which, uh, as a chamber orchestra, we could do. And um, the second movement, or, or rather the, the opening of that piece, the first movement, just always amazed me. I, I always felt like I was hearing some very gentle form of Schoenberg or something. And then it's like the mists would part, and then this American music would come forth. You know, it was like this wonderful, wonderful mixture of things. And these pieces are like that, I would say. Um, Afterglow, which is uh, the, the, the words, the poem, is uh, by James Fenmore Cooper. But when you hear the piano writing, again, it's like that, that gentle, sort of mystical Schoenberg, you know, from Vienna. You know, so how is he mixing things up like that? I think I just love to mix things up. And th these are just wonderful examples of that. So I would like to read you the text of each song before, because I think that really adds a lot to the uh, listening. Um, so after work. At the quiet close of day, gently yet the willows sway. When the sunset light is low, lingers still the afterglow. Beauty tarries, loath to die. Every lightest fantasy, lovelier grows in memory, where the truer beauties lie. <coughs> 